Welcome to Just So You Know. This is Jess. And this is Jay. Today we'll be discussing two Arnold Schwarzenegger movies from the 1980s. Commando. And Running Man. That was a pretty good impression. Let's get started. Which one would you like to speak about first? You may excuse her, she, she's giggly. All right, which one do you want to talk about first? Commando or Running Man? I guess uh, we'll do the, in order. Com commando. Order, order is there. Commando. All right, Commando came out, came out first. So, so that was your first time watching it? Yes. <laughs> it was really good. See, I, I like to think of Commando as a modern telling of the, the epic Shirley Temple movie, Heidi. Oh, God. Because for two weeks, Grandfather tried getting to... Shirley Temple, and I think what, what Arnold was showing us was what he did. Like, he, he infiltrated that island to get to Alyssa Milano, and that's what he that's what grandfather did to get to Shirley Temple. Anyway, go ahead. What did you think? <laughs> so, th that is what, how I felt about Commando. Great one liners, como estas? <laughs> you know, stuff like that. What? Oh my god. Well, okay. What did you think? Come on, let's get into it. <laughs> She's having um, a little bit of issues of speaking. <laughs> I, I was, oh, the first thing I thought, I was like, okay, um, is he really carrying that tree trunk? <laughs> I think he was. Is that real? That, I, I guarantee it was. Did you see the size of his arms? No, it probably was. It was like my whole like thigh and my arms together. I was wondering. And the, um, the little like montage of like the perfect dad, you know, having fun with his daughter, I thought was hilarious. <laughs> So I'm sorry. I, I, I really, I still to this day, since 1985, I want to know what's in that sandwich. Oh, that you made, yeah. What is, what's in, what's this? What's in this? <laughs> you don't want to know. They look like they're rich. You I, think they'd have like prime, like boar's head beef and stuff. Anyway, you know? um, <laughs> and then uh, I was, I didn't know that you told me um, that he, he does this I'll be back in like almost every movie. I didn't know that. Yeah, because he, he, I thought he it was only in Terminator. No, because he, he went to go get to, you know, the island, and he was just telling Bennett, I'll be back. No, I know, but was that the first time he said it? No, in Terminator. Oh, Terminator was before. Yeah, 1984. Okay, I wasn't sure what, who was He could barely first. speak English, like, I'll be back when he went to the... <laughs> so when he said that, I was like, oh my god, he said it, and he's like, yeah, he does it all the time. I was like, oh, okay. I make all my friends at work say it when they're leaving to go to the bathroom, and they say, I'll be back. I'm like, you gotta do it right, I'll be back. Like that, that's how you have to do it. Um, I did appreciate there was a thrill a thriller jacket in the crowd in the mall. That was pretty. That was cool. a great mall. The neon lights and swinging. <laughs> and and, and I, movies, I, people... I saw it. I saw it. I'm like, there's a thriller jacket. Yes. Well, I mean, and then like everyone looks normal. Like the bad guys yeah. look like they could be your neighbor. Normal and it's people. Like normal scary people. Yeah. Like everybody wasn't good looking. That, that yeah, that little uh, little guy was a creep. And then Bennett, you know Bennett, the the main villain dude with his chainmail, and he had a gut. I mean, how many villains have guts now? They're jacked up usually. <laughs> um, however, I I had to um, disapprove on that over use of this steel drum music <laughs> in the whole movie. It was wonderful. I I I love the steel drum. I think it's great. I listen to it. <laughs> You know, here and there, go to the city, love when they're playing it. I loved it in Friends for Phoebe's wedding. But this movie just didn't go well. Well, it was the Caribbean <laughs> setting because he was infiltrating, like, a like a like that kind of island. Like so he did, the he Caribbean like, music? He, oh, yeah. I don't know. You know what? He he, he destroyed an entire army single-handedly. <laughs> so they had to have the Caribbean background <laughs> as he's destroying them? Yeah, why not? <laughs> right. Um, the, uh... The, the apocalypse shopping was pretty cool, you know, reminiscent of, like, obviously apocalypse setting, yeah. but, like, um, uh, zombies, you know, you, you, break, you break into the store, you grab all the gear, you know, he, he suits up, that was pretty neat. Well, see, the thing is, when, he's, when he did that, he should have broken the back. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I took why the truck in the front. Bulldozed through the Get in the front. back, at least give him more time for the cops and to get the there. And the cops show up. It's like, of course they're going to show up. Sneak in the back. And, and honestly, to, to you people that are into guns and stuff like that, do they really sell rocket launchers? Oh, yeah, he picked up the could, rocket Can I go launcher. to a store and really buy a rock, like that surplus store? <laughs> buy buy fins that go swimming and then buy a four-shot <laughs> rocket launcher? That reminded me of... It was shaped like a big b box of bread. 
<laughs> that reminded me of when he picks on the rocket launcher. Which is like, what is that? Or whatever. It reminded me of a kick-ass when the guy grabs the bazooka. Uh, and he's like, oh man, I gotta grab it. Like, he was just like, I, I gotta have it. It's, it's, a, it's a bazooka. Yeah, but um, he didn't go to Walmart. <laughs> I know, but it was in Big Daddy's, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, okay. <laughs> and, um... My, my last point was that I appreciated the Chinese throwing stars out of wood saw, table saw blades. That was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that slow motion. <laughs> no, the best part after it's that was the when guys, the guy... like, scalp off. The was guy... Like, oh my god! The, 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 one of the guys attacking Arnold also did his best Anakin Skywalker from Attack of the Clones impression when he put his... He was like... And then Arnold was like... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Took the machete and lopped. He's like, ah! <laughs> that was some great special effects. The, that, no, no, the part of the arm, and you can see the other arm tucked under. And you even saw him point. Like, oh. right. <laughs> In the meaty part, he takes the machete. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Um, yeah, I mean. So okay. overall, you enjoyed yourself as you watched the movie. I wouldn't say enjoyed. Yes, myself, you did. You enjoyed yourself. I, I, was I 80s actually. 80s Arnold at his greatest. Uh, One of his greatest movies. I think. I'll take Terminator. That's why, that's why we still have Terminator. Alyssa Milano. He brought back Alyssa Milano. She was so little. I was so cute. From, and she was smart. <laughs> Let off some steam, Bennett. Oh, you leave anything for us? Just bodies. Oh, my God. <laughs> Until next time, no chance. <laughs> wait, wait. No, one of I, the best lines no, is... No. <laughs> one of the best lines is like, this is a canoe with wings. Well, get in and stop paddling. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Cinematic gold. That is gold. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I take Terminator over this. I'm sorry. And we also watched Running Man, wait, wait. which I, I ate three burritos for breakfast, and right now I'm very hungry. Oh my god. Good sorry. I appreciated Running Man better than Commando. Well, it was a Stephen King book, which is another great thing. And a oh, Running Man. Run I told you, yeah, it was Richard Bachman. That's right. Which he the wrote pseudo. as a student, whatever that what you call that word. It starts with a P, but you say it with an S. And <laughs> I like. Because that movie can actually happen. We're probably really close to that. Once the economies all explode, we could be on Running Man. It's got to commit a crime. Well, I liked Running Man, again, like I said. Um, they thought it was funny that it was for 2017. We're so close. this is coming. It's starting. All the 80s hair is coming back. Yeah. <laughs> so it's coming. Yeah, 80s hair is coming back, 80s clothes. The next thing you know, we're going to be in, what did you call it, Unitard? <laughs> talk about that later later so <laughs> i i appreciated it it was it was it was like the hunger games kind of but with a bit of like death race the modern death race thrown in there because they were using prisoners and condemned and no escape right so it was but that, it was all before that that too. was neat the whole kind of like you know it was actually like a glorified gladiators type of thing don't forget to send me a copy and and then again i'd like to question was that a real girder he was carrying I think it was. I guarantee you. He was huge. They showed off his muscles constantly. He was constantly. He got out of the shower. I know. And you know. he did. He did say, I'll be back again in Running Man. And then, and then Richard Dawson was like, only in a rerun. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I always like that line. Um, Off to school some steroids. Yeah, and so he, you know, they bring him up as a prisoner, you know, shackled and, and in the, um, the work, the work outfit. What is it called? World's right? Gym. No, 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 the, um, the, like, prisoner, the whole outfit that he had on. Anyway, that outfit. And then they like, rip it away, and then, bring! It's the gold Adidas unitard. Yeah! I never noticed it was Adidas. <laughs> Either he was sponsored by Adidas. It was right, right here, and it said Richards. I'm mistaken with, like, Smith. So yeah, that was funny. Um, I, and I thought it was funny that the, the, the game show... I guess it was like a game show. It was. The, the Running Man game show was like The Price is Right. And what was it? A, 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 Richard a, Dawson. A, oh, it was Richard Dawson? Who was, was like, hosting it, yeah. Was hosting it, and he was, he was like... He was Damon Killian. Yeah, he was like, um, The Price Bob is Barker. Right, Bob Barker. Come and on with, down, with he gave out prizes. Yeah, he's like, come, he actually said, come on down. I, I remember hey, that. Hey, Christmas tree. And, the, <laughs> and they had like all these older people in the audience cheering and clapping. I thought it was funny. Kill him, kill him. <laughs> Come on down. He's my mean you mother. The, you get the Running Man game board. <laughs> he was handing him the, 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 home, the home game. How do you play that at home? Oh, and... Um, Don't whiz on the electric fence. From Bob Blamo. Blamo. <laughs> well, that's Brennan gotta do Stimpy. <laughs> Anyway, um, he did point out that the guy there was his body... The 
what's his name? I don't know Sev, all the names. Sev, I can't say was, his name either. Was Sven. Sven. Was his bodyguard was LaForce from Clerks. I mean, not the yeah. Clerks, sorry. From <laughs> Mall Rats. I don't know her. Sorry. Sorry, from Who's Mall from Rats. Mall Rats. So if you ever, you know, Jersey fans out there. Hi, Jersey. Um, Mall Rat fans. I won't say hi to you. <laughs> It's a state. That's LaFour's. Um. <laughs> that was that one of some of the best one-liners. So I hope you leave enough room for my fist. Oh, that was insane. It went on forever. <laughs> rip out your damn spine. <laughs> that one went on forever. That anyway. was a great one-liner. I, uh, was... I appreciated Running Man better than Commando. So with those two, that was, yeah, that was some intense Arnold viewing. Overall, 80s Arnold, 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 you rock. 1985. 80s was your shining moment. 1987. Shining moments. It was amazing because you still. We have more to look at in terms of Arnold movies, and they were, they're two of the gems in my collection, and I watch them frequently. I love you, <laughs> yeah, Arnold. You're the man, Arnold. I grew up on them, so. That's why I. That's why. Play video uh, games and yeah. wear Batman shirts. <laughs> but um. I don't have any Arnold Commando, shirts. I don't know. I like. I would have appreciated. I guess it was if it was more serious. I guess because they kind of like had that like funny comedic vibe to it with Arnold I don't know but like because like I oh, I love I'm sorry I I love Die Hard and Die Hard it just the different Die Hard was almost that Commando too. away that blew it away so yeah I'm sorry but John McClane is not infiltrating an island to get Lucy yes he is he is not yes he is he is not he is he is not he's he is. an everyman cop he's got his little no way shaved head. Arnold would take him and throw him <laughs> He's not fighting against Arnold. It would be him. No, Arnold would. Oh, come on. He would. No way. No way. Anyway. Just like Ar like T Arnold would take on Stallone. So again, we had a blockbuster of Arnold. We had the Commando and the Running Man, both classic '80s Arnold movies. And I, for one, would like would pick Running Man over Commando. Sorry. I like them both. <laughs> I think they're great movies. I like to enjoy them and say the one-liners to myself as I view them and drink my brewski and play my video games. So I highly recommend viewing them on either DVD and I also have the Blu-ray. I'm not giving them to you, but I highly recommend purchasing them. They are very cheap because they're older movies. Have? I have two commandos because I bought the extended edition where you find more backstory about oh, yeah. what happened to his wife. We watched the director's cut, that's right. The director's cut. <laughs> There are extra scenes they added into the movie and made it longer and more enjoyable for us Arnold fans. You good? Did, did good. you get all Arnold out? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right. be back. <laughs> Alright guys, we will be back in another episode. So remember to subscribe, subscribe like, like, comment, comment and share. share. <laughs> Just so you know. Just so you know. That was Jay. This is Jess. Bye. Bye. Hurry up and turn off the camera. We're over <laughs> with now. Do it now. Do it. <laughs>